Hi everybody, I hope you're all safe and well. Um, I had a request um, for a bit more information on how I do my maker's marks on my knives. Because basically I can put anything I want on there now. I don't have to just use like a stamp or something like that. Using my laser. So, um, come and have a look. Right, this is my little 300 milliwatt laser. I think it's a blue laser or purple laser that I had. Um, well, basically I got given it for one reason or another, but you can, I, you can buy these um, quite readily and I'll put the link down in the description. Um, so you can go and grab yourself one if you want. Now this one is a laser that has actually got the X and the Y that makes sense so that the laser head can move in both directions which is really important so when you're marking your piece of steel you can actually place your steel on the laser in any position you want and therefore you've got access to moving it around if that makes sense hopefully it does there's other ones that you can get which haven't got both directions so you're very limited so this one is the best one to get um, and it will do an eight inch area so it's quite quite a good area so anyway let's have a look at the software um, and, and I'll show you what I do right basically when you buy this you get a little USB stick which has got all your files you need on it and the one you want I don't know if you can see this but it says laser framework for you open this up you must allow it and then this is your platform for your laser layout um, you get um, pictures are already within the software or you can just look for vector vector images again I'll put a, a link in the description for that um, and then you can just find what you want so the last one I did which was a B for my for my daughter you can open and then that's a B you can then adjust the height. I mean, this is something you'd have to work out on your own, guys. But you can basically adjust the height, the width. You can add text. You can do what you want, um, and it, and it's very handy. So we'll use this as an example, and maybe we'll do an X more blades um, bit of writing as well, and then we'll have a look and see how I do it. Right, before before I start, these little lasers come with a green plate, um, but it's only one side. So health and safety, make sure you buy yourself a decent pair of glasses that are, are, are for lasers because you get light everywhere and it's, it's very difficult not to try and look at it. Anyway, enough of that over there. Right, so I've got it all set up. Again, you guys will figure this out, it's not difficult. Um, I've got my text, which is Exmoor Blades. I've set it in the center of the XY, XY coordinates and then you can do a little preview. So I'll hit the preview button and then we'll come and have a look. Right guys, as you can see, I have X more blades there. I've hit the preview. So if you come and look at your little laser, I've put my piece of steel in, and you, I don't know how well that's focused in, but you can see the little mark that's moving up and down, the little dot. Now that gives you the preview position of what you want to do. So then all you can do, you can move your knife or whatever it is you're doing into the position that you want that. Um, so that's how I just do it. I just do a preview first, and then I'll show you what I do next. Right. This is stencil vinyl, which you can buy off of eBay, uh, just a couple of quid, it's not much money. Um, so I cut a piece off, you then peel the back off of it. Now with the steel, it's very important you clean it well. So I've acetoned it to pieces, if that makes sense. Right, so you just peel the back off of this, try not to get too many fingerprints on it if you can. And then literally all I do, I'll lay it in a position, oh, there we go, sorry. I'll lay it in the position that I want it. You know, imagine and then that's my knife, and that's the area I want it, and obviously it'll only be a small area. But there you go. Now the magic begins now. So I place it back in here again. I don't know if you can see it, I don't know. Have a look. I preview it again. Right. We'll make it a bit bigger because it's a bit small. Let me just adjust on here. Right, 
right, that's a bit better. Right, so I've made it larger. You can see the size there. And there you go. I'm doing a preview. You can see the blue dot. So that's exactly where it's going to go. Now, no messing about. Get your glasses on before you even look at this because you're going to be tempted. Guarantee it. Right, you stop the preview. Now the power, this is where the trick is, right, for you guys if you're going to get one of these. I run it up to about 40, 45%. You don't have to go mad with it, trust me. We'll try on 50 today. Right, so laser power 100, car in depth 50. Right, black and white as preset, hit your start button. And that's it. And there you go, as you can see. How cool is that? So it's now cutting in. Now, it won't touch the steel because it hasn't got enough power. Um, and it will just get through the vinyl, but it will leave a sticky residue. So once it's done this, we'll, um, we'll go and throw it out. And obviously make sure you've got decent ventilation because this does give off um, fumes. So you need to be aware of that. But anyway, I'll leave you watching that for a second or two. How cool is that? Right everybody. So there you go. That's what you'll get. And that's on, like I said, that was on about 50%. But what you'll notice, now this is where the trick is, right? With this, you can see that you've still got residue left from the vinyl. So we need to remove that. So that's what we'll do. And you, this is a surprising bit. You do use actually acetone. Um, so we'll have a look. A bit of acetone, and we gently just give it a wipe over. As you can see, it's starting to come off already. And what you want it, you want to be able to see the metal underneath, or else obviously when you go to do your etching, um, it won't work very well because you'll have residue left in the air as you don't want it. Now, when I first did this, I was worrying because I thought it'd pull all the vinyl off, but it doesn't. Um, and, you know, just, I'm being a bit gentle, cleaning it off. And there we go. You can now see the steel all underneath right and then we'll etch it now for those of you guys who don't know how to etch or you haven't looked at my old videos why not why aren't you subscribed why aren't you hitting notifications um i'll show you what i do it's about right. right the high kit high tech kit that you need for etching your blades is cheapy cheap six amp battery charger a cup of salt water and some cotton buds. That's all you need. You don't need anything else. There's a lot of, well, snobbery or whatever you want to call it around all this malarkey. But it's pretty simple. Um, and I'll show you exactly what I do. Right, battery charger. Don't turn it on until you're ready to go. Positive onto your blade. Your negative, make sure you've got a decent connection wants to go to this. So all I do, la 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 la, dip your cotton bud into your salt water. And then I connect it like that so you've got a connection but you don't want to touch the metal onto the blade just the tip of this turn on your battery charger and off you go just tap it over and the more you do it or the longer you do it for the deeper the etch um, and every now and then if you're going to do it deeper you can see that the the um, end of the cotton bud is starting to change color you'll find that it doesn't conduct as well now again do this in a well ventilated area because it does give off gases but to be honest with you it isn't enough to worry about really but there you go use your own judgment on that guys and this is all i do now obviously because this is quite a big one it's going to take a few minutes so give me a few minutes and i'll come back right so there we are, spent a couple of minutes just going over this 
and now you get AC DC 10 etch and one will um, mark I've got it set to etch but you don't need to mess about you don't need machinery and stuff and you know all that malarkey as you can see it's etched and like I said it's only rough so if it hasn't come out perfect it's just because I'm rushing right now it's like if you just want to leave it etched that's fine it's done if you want to color it if you want it to go nice and dark right this is cold blue well, I got given this tip by a, a very nice guy who I know and you literally just do this la, 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 la. as you can see I'm not being you know I'm rushing this because I just want to get this little video done today for you guys and there we go and that's it as you can see that one I go dark as you can see already on the M that will darken up and then we'll um strip it off right anyway i've darkened it a bit i just i haven't got a massive amount of time um so uh, it's just a case of picking it off but you'll see it, it, it if you put a bit of effort in it darkens off really quite well um there we go and you just pick it all off like so and then all you do wipe it off and then bear in mind obviously i've rushed this today um i wouldn't normally do it this quickly so it may not be as perfect as it could be but you know knees must there you go x more blades and that's um that's ended pretty well i would have done it a bit longer and to be honest with you i would have blued it a bit more but you get the idea there's a bee's just slightly missing there but anyway it was just a to give you an idea what you can do um i've done quite a few different blades using this now and they'll come out really well if you take your time anyway guys take care everyone and i'll see you soon